Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 18th through the 26th. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have? One more, please. Well, two more. Okay. So what do we have for Aquarius for the week of October 20, October 18th through the 26th? Dogs. Getting together with friends. Stark. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment, looks good so far. Pineapple, reconciliation, wow. So whatever is going on this week, Aquarius, it looks like you are not in the doghouse. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a great week. I mean, getting together with friends, news of a birth or a new business opportunity, celebrating, having fun, reconciling. Now, reconciliation can be with friends, can be with family members you haven't seen, can be with people you've been fighting with, could be with lovers, whatever. So, it looks really, really good so far. But, let's get the tarot card. So what do we have for Aquarius otherwise other than you know they're having a grand old time by the looks of things. Gonna be some sort of celebration this week, some sort of get together. Ooh, two of pentacles reversed. Now this could be having a little bit too much fun. Somebody could trip <laughs> you know they could fall you know they may not they might get other things could get a little out of hand this could you could like picture this somebody being drunk and you know I'm not saying that's gonna happen but you know it's like somebody tripping it's like oh this is fun <laughs> done on the ground you know that kind of thing but anyway um two of pentacles reverse this is lacking balance right overextending yourself biting off more than you can chew uh, so yeah, this is chaos, you know, not realizing you, any, somebody could be going overboard, put it that way. King of, Pen now there could be a financial loss, okay? This could be a financial loss. You didn't plan on it happening. Um, something to do with money here, but it looks like we have a new opportunity coming in with that and this. Okay, this is a golden opportunity. The King of Pentacles is somebody that has money, somebody that is stable. Looks like they are holding on to something or they're going to be getting an offer. The King of Pentacles is a very hard worker. Has some sort of gift, you know, or some sort of skill. I think that you have some sort of skill. You have a skill. You have something that somebody can use. Somebody's going to be making you an offer. You have some sort of skill, a business offer of some sort. Um, whoever this person is that is making the, you the offer, it's a very generous offer. You're going to be getting a generous offer or a generous payout. You may be getting a payout this week. But this is financial uh, loss of some sort. So that's interesting. But I think it's the end. If you've been if you've been struggling financially, things are about to get better. That's the way I see that. I feel like it's the end of this oh financial burden. You know, if you've been burdened, I think it's about to end because you're gonna get more money in some way. More money is coming. Now the four of swords reverse is exhausted. A need to slow down right next to the two of pentacles. I think that somebody, whether it's you or somebody else, needs to be careful this week. You don't go too fast. I mean, you really could, 
Now, I don't know if maybe this is like an insurance payout. I mean, it leads to an insurance payout or something. It feels like somebody could get hurt, could even be some sort of inheritance. I'm not sure what is going on, but usually the Four of Swords looks like that's a casket, right? That's the death of a person or idea, you know? So, you know, but I don't know. It feels like there's a need to slow down and really focus and balance out your books, balance out your money, balance out your checkbook. You may be getting some money from, you know, I don't know where this is coming from. You could get, in the future, you may get money from somebody that passed away. I don't know where that's coming from, but just came to me. Um, you don't plan on it coming. You never thought of it, but it is. Now, the Empress reversed. The Empress reversed. That is oh, some sort of loss. It is a loss. We have a, we have a feminine, I mean, that doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take, take care of her children. This could be an absent mother. It could be a loss of a child. It could be a miscarriage. It could be an abortion. It doesn't have to be. The Empress in Reverse is a woman that is loose, okay? She doesn't take care of business. She's lazy. She, she's selfish. She's protective. She's overprotective. She's jealous. She's smothering. We have a smothering female here who doesn't know her value, okay? She probably sleeps around, you know? She may be in a situation that she's not happy in. She goes back and forth. This woman goes, it could be you. That's back and forth between two different uh, scenarios. I think that we definitely have a woman that is doing that. She She's very, um, it feels like she's promiscuous, um, whoever this woman is. Ah, 10, I mean, you know, I'm wondering if you are dealing with somebody that doesn't really want commitment, somebody that is really focused on money, you know, really focused on their job. They're not really looking to get married or, you know, to move very quickly into any sort of commitment. I feel like you're going to be getting an offer from somebody, but I don't feel like it's going to, it's interesting. It feels like it may not be long term. You know, may not you may up so maybe just be like for a one night stand or something. I don't know. It feels like you're gonna get an offer from somebody that uh, doesn't last. It doesn't. It's not long term. It's not long term. Um, this is short lived success. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is, and it, it it feels like you need to be careful. You, you're gonna get an offer from somebody, but I think that you need to be careful with it because I don't think it's gonna grow. I don't think it's gonna grow. I think it's uh, this person can present it very well, though. Very smooth talker, knows how to sell. Very good at selling the offer. So you're gonna be speaking. It's kind of like a salesman. Okay, this person is going to really know how to sell you whatever it is that they're selling. This is bad business. This is illegal dealings. This is uh, bad housekeeping. It's uh, somebody that is probably a gambler that is has an unstable business or home life or something like that. And they're not looking for anything long term. So it could end in disaster. And it, it could. So I feel like you're going to be getting an offer from somebody that looks really good. It does look good. It looks like it's solid. I thought it was. You know what I mean? I thought it was a solid offer. It looked really good. It's not. It's not. This person is um, looking for somebody that doesn't, that isn't, uh, Well, looking for somebody that is weak by the looks of things. Looking for somebody that um, needs them. Somebody that is a mess. Looking for somebody that has a poor self-image. So, uh, be careful. Be careful this week. I feel like uh, you are dealing with an individual that... Uh, 
maybe after your money or your skills. Maybe you have some sort of skills, you know. They're after your skills. They're after your money, but it's not going to last. So I think that you definitely need to be careful. Somebody may want a reconciliation with you. I think maybe it's, you know, I don't see the car. I feel like it's a sexual thing. I don't know why. I feel like it's a sexual thing. I, I just do. This is unfortunate. It is. This is going in the wrong direction. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's bad news. It is bad news. This is this is a setback. It's bad luck, okay? It's it's uh delay. It's a delay of your success. If you go down this road, this is a un it's an unfortunate loss of some sort. It's an un this is unfortunate. It's an unfortunate event. Okay, it's very unfortunate. And this is a loss. I'm not sure what the loss is. I don't know if it's a loss of a child or a loss of a business, loss of an opportunity, a business opportunity. You know, I think it's unfortunate, whatever it is. This is uh, not a good time to start new things, okay? This is past mistakes coming back to haunt you. If you are this woman that is watching this, if you are the woman that is watching this, you may have to make a choice, okay? You know, do you want to repeat the same mistakes that you have made over and over again and 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 go with somebody that has something big for you, you know, that isn't going to last? You know, I'm just saying, I mean, you may, you know, this person may have the Midas touched, but they don't plan on sticking around. If you are the man watching this, the masculine watching this, you may have something solid for a woman that, or you may be offering something to a woman that is very uh, promiscuous. Probably not the best match for you. It feels like this not this is not a good match. It feels like it's not a good match. It feels like this woman is uh, promiscuous. I feel like she's a mess. I feel like she's a mess. And, you know, she doesn't know her value. And she, she doesn't know her worth. And she is just not a good pick. And I feel like if you are the man, the man here has a lot to offer. But... Uh, in another circumstance, we have a man here that is looking for a weak woman, okay? So, however that resonates with you, this is a unfortunate loss. Now, I'm going to change this. It could be that now this is for somebody else. We have a family member here, okay? The celebration. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if you're going to a funeral. I'm just being honest with you, Okay? Okay, it's just, I got to be honest with you because we, this is like a casket. This is a loss, you know, and this is a fee at the end of a legacy of some sort. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but, um, I do feel like there is a chance for reconciliation with somebody that may have, uh, have, uh, ghosted you in the past or something may have ended with this person from the past, you know, it ended prematurely or something like that. I feel like there's a chance to get together. You may you may see this person at whatever this celebration is. I don't know what it is. You're going to something. You may you may meet up with somebody that, you know, something ended uh prematurely and it's not completely over yet and there's a chance to um rekindle whatever. Um I do feel as though uh it is going to be an interesting week for you. I feel like you may need time. You may need time to deal with some sort of upheaval because this is upheaval. Okay. I feel it. And this is a, there is a fall from, from grace as well. Okay. With that, with that wheel of fortune reversed is something is going to happen that is going to set you back. Okay. It's going to, so I think that you really need to be careful. This is bad luck. Something not working out. And you may not see it at the moment because it looks so good with that King of Pentacles. You know, it looks good. It's, it's like, you know, it looks really good, but it's not working out. Okay. Um, now, whoever this, this female is, she's very, very clingy, very needy, high maintenance, very high maintenance female. Um, mean spirit is self-absorbed, you know. Um, so this is kind of interesting. I feel like you know definitely what I what I see here from the from the get go the two of pentacles reverse is a choice okay you're gonna need to make a choice and it's maybe maybe 
you know, um, unplanned, an unplanned choice. There could even be an unplanned pregnancy here. So if I was you, I'd be careful. Okay, there could be an unplanned, unplanned pregnancy. So I think that you need to be careful for that. Um, very interesting reading. Um, we have a woman here that is that doesn't take very good care of business either. Poor housekeeping. I think I already said that. Very, very, uh, doesn't take care of herself, doesn't really take, doesn't want to. She may put on a front, but she doesn't really want to. She's actually really lazy. Um, this is a huge loss. It's like losing it all. It is. I feel like if you go down this path, you could lose it all. It might have to start over completely. Okay. Um, it is, there is an opportunity to lose. This is a, a total ruin. Total ruin both of these cards and I really feel like you need to be careful I do I feel like you this is an unfortunate loss now there could be something to do with the home um, a family member something is going on here Find business bad business totally bad business this person can be very vindictive very totally ruin you ruin a reputation Okay, there could be some sort of, you know, somebody that, you know, does something to ruin your reputation. So if I was you, I'd be very, very, very careful this week. Um, somebody could get sued. I don't know who that is, but mm, yes, I don't know if we, you're dealing with somebody that is married, somebody easy, you, you could be dealing with somebody that is married or they're into some sort of commitment. They have a husband or a wife, you know, this could be a third party situation. Um, a hair font reverse. This is, this is somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing under a lot of social pressure. That is disgrace. This is a disgrace. This will be embarrassing. Somebody could embarrass you. So I would be very careful. I think we have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. And, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that makes something public. You know, they publicize something and it's a complete embarrassment to you. This person may come in all beautiful and flowery, you know, and like they're they're like they're the best thing in the world and you know <laughs> doesn't work out the way that you thought. So my advice is to be damn careful with who you are playing with this week. Good luck. <laughs>